Today we're talking about studio talkbacks. Yes, hello, this is today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. I'm Peter Stewart, Twitter-wise, Twitter Stewart, T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Yeah, we've been talking about the gallery, the production area, the ops room, the control area, whatever you like to call it, and... Lots of uh, different studio complexes, lots of different agencies and uh, recording suites, we'll call it by different names, but those are perhaps some of the more usual ones. The gallery production area will have microphones which are used to talk back to you in the studio. Now, sometimes these may be left on or or, or open, an an open mic channel is is, is often what it's called, Uh, so, so left open as you record. Sometimes by mistake uh, but usually deliberately if it is open at all and that means you'll hear the the coughs the comments the conversations and the script suggestions from everyone who's in that other room the producers the directors the clients and you'll hear it live in your headphones as you read now as you can imagine this can be quite off-putting so you can request that their mics can be muted so you can focus on your performance instead After each or a few takes, those people in the production area will likely discuss what they've just heard. And this will likely happen with that talkback mic off, so you won't hear their conversation. It can be a bit disconcerting to know that they're talking about you. There may be glances in your direction. You may see their their facial expressions while they're talking as well. But try not to look. You don't know what they're saying. And the only feedback that's important is that distilled from that discussion and given to you by the director. Having said that, it may not come from the director themselves. It may be from a producer or a sound engineer or someone with a quite different title from the agency or the company being advertised. The thing is that any thoughts on what you're doing and changes that have to be made should be discussed and distilled before they're given to you as direction. And don't forget, whoever it is that gives you that kind of feedback is essentially giving you free training. Yeah, virtually it's free training, as I mentioned a couple of days ago, about your note-taking. Now, the talkback that I referenced is what you can hear them saying in the microphone when they turn it on, either in your headphones or or sometimes on a speaker in your studio. And you can usually talk back to them either through the open channel mic that they have faded up their side of the glass or sometimes by pressing another button and talking into the microphone now sometimes when you do that it'll be muting the actual recording process so what you actually say back to the director or producer isn't actually being recorded why is that necessary well It may be that you've got some VT, some video running, or maybe you've got a soundtrack running, and you just want to check maybe the duration on the next bit, or maybe the tone of the next bit, or how long you've got left to run on it, or whether the last bit was okay. So you sometimes are able to talk to the director uh, without your comments actually being recorded, or indeed their comments coming back to you. But maybe the recording, the dubbing, perhaps over a little bit of video, is still going on. But as I say, your bits at that moment aren't actually being recorded. OK, tomorrow we're going to be moving on to the voice director skills. Now, as I've mentioned today, there could be lots of people who give you feedback, who are directing the session. They may not actually be called a director. They may be called a producer or a sound engineer or something completely different. For the purposes of the next several days, we'll just talk about the director, although the role may be slightly interchangeable with that of somebody else but we'll just call them the director for the sake of simplicity over the next few days so uh, hopefully that makes sense they are after all the person who directs you so uh, there you go Uh, so we're going to tomorrow talk about the voice director skills as get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice continues from london i'm peter stewart